Hello people, it's been a long time. I just finished my first period of my second year and now I'm just settling on my master's thesis. So, well, I just want to do something new which can motivate myself. So I'm thinking of learning Dutch again. Before starting my master in last year, I took Dutch language courses for two weeks. But however, inside the campus or even if you go out or do grocery shopping, you really feel like that you have to use Dutch. Because once people recognize you as a foreigner, they automatically say something or respond in English, not Dutch. But Sometimes you will see the circumstance that you have to speak Dutch. For example, what happened in last week for me is that I left my key and phone inside my house and then I just closed the door and I just went to a supermarket to do the grocery shopping. And then when I was coming back to my home, I suddenly realized that I didn't have anything. I just had only my wallet. But thankfully, I met a guy who was cleaning my house building and I had to talk to guy, right? He couldn't speak English and then I also knew just very very simple words in Dutch so we couldn't make any other proper conversation in Dutch. Wow, I, it was so frustrating and then I very very regretted that I didn't put my energy and time in learning Dutch. So again, I started to learn Dutch to speak very basic sentence at least and today I'd like to introduce a few ways that I'm using yeah firstly as I told you I did take the Dutch language courses in Utrecht summer school I use this book at the course yeah this book is really nice but there is a problem there is no any other English explanation so you have to use often dictionary or just translator yeah, from this book, you can also learn some Dutch cultures. But for me, the most difficult part was listening. Wow, Dutch people speak super fast, so it is not easy to understand what they are saying, actually. Secondly, sometimes I use a podcast. Um, thankfully, in South Korea, there is a channel that I can use for learning Dutch. Um, yeah, this is the contents list. Who hot it? Who hot it? 하고 부를 수 있습니다. 영어의 How are you? How's it going? So 과 같은 표현이 되겠죠? Much easier and more convenient for me. 어떻게 지내요 하는 질문에 Who? 프리마. And thirdly, I started to talk with my language exchanger who is studying in Leiden University in Korean City so she can practice Korean but also I can practice Dutch with her. So she can change whatever mistakes that I make. And yeah, she said Google Translator sometimes not right. Another way is to use your tea. If you buy this type of tea, then you can always answer on a sentence in Dutch. So that makes you feel like more familiar to the Dutch language. Lastly, you can also use some education applications by using your phone yeah, here. You can see the Dutch. But it could be hard to learn language next to your study, but yeah, we can try. <laughs> 